Minister as well as former local government minister Sevia Kasukwere says capture of our national institutions will be self-evident in a few days to come. The need to reform national institutions is now more urgent than ever. Tadziza, 23 August, let's get it done. So this is the message, Tim Zimbabwe. Um, I know we have differences with uh, Sevia Kasukwere in terms of the past, in terms of how things should be done, in terms of who are supposed to be given support this time around. But uh, the facts being raised here remain relevant because um, you see the police being abused, you see the military being abused, you see Zimbabwe Electoral Commission being abused, you see so many organs, the CIO, being abused by the regime simply because uh, they are given orders by captured leaders. You see uh, the, 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 the judiciary uh, continuously being captured by this regime. We've seen a state capture of these key institutions in the past. We continue to see that capture today and um, there is no uh, sign that um, these institutions won't be captured again in the future. So what are we saying as Zimbabweans is that we only have an option to vote out a ZANU-PF system entirely on the 23rd of August. This is the reason why we have to unite. All of us, we must unite. Uh, my advice um, to the people of Zimbabwe is simple. Let us focus on the bigger picture. Let us focus on making sure that we win this election. Let us focus on making sure that um, we, we, we win Zimbabwe for change. So uh, I don't know whatever strategy which is being uh, deployed by the political players, key political players, we have to unite uh, towards change. We have to make sure that our agenda is to win Zimbabwe for change. So no effort is too little or is inferior to the other. If you if you can't come to Zimbabwe to vote, you can still adopt a polling station, pay any amount you can um, to support change. You can still get in touch with a councillor of your choice, um, assist with the donations. There are so many activities you can do. You can even print flyers for particular councillors or MPs. Help them do anything. You can come to be an agent at a certain polling station, or you can come to beef up security. Kuna wanu asina ku register ku vota wa South Africa. Varuku vunza uti saka isisu atina unge taka kwansa u register ku vota, atisu kwansa unge tichi vota this year. Twitter say, we are saying all of you come back to Zimbabwe. If you can come back, come back to Zimbabwe. Because we will need your support in the rural areas. We will need security in the rural areas. Because remember, Zanu PF Irushan Safas, Zanu PF Ningishan Sama State Institutions, Imimi Mukawuya, you beef up security because the memory of my village is menu. Muri Pumchuana ma processes with Arko Fambase. And um, Kanavan Wakawono Makawanda, um, Makamira, um, I think, got 400 meters away from the polling station. Uh, because they understand that you are sending a clear message. We really need to protect this fort. People must vote without coercion. People must vote without intimidation. You can play that role by coming back to Zimbabwe. We stand together. We send a message to our parents. We send a message to our colleagues. We send a message to our relatives to say, stop intimidating people. If you know that your parents or your relatives are intimidating people, call them. Tell them the truth. Tell them to leave uh, 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 other people, follow their political choices. You know, I always tell this to my neighbors to say, don't be involved in anything to do with fighting me because elections will come, elections will go, but we will remain neighbors. So what? how are we going to face each other? During an election. How are we going to face each other? Those are the issues we always talk about to say. No matter our political affiliations, let us leave uh, that gap for, for, for a healthy relationship. So, we are saying Munuese kuna advocate Nusun Jamisa. We are saying Munuese kubasa. Advocate Nusun Jamisa is talking about transformation of the economy of Zimbabwe. How? He's going to deal with CSC. He's going to resuscitate CSC. Which means everybody, anengari mpout project, ari kukuitane renyama. 
who will be able to benefit from this program. He is going to make sure that he resuscitates um, GMB such that those who are in grain uh, production they will benefit from uh, that initiative. They will be able to buy themselves fertilizers or inputs because they will be paid enough by the GMB to for them to to, to sustain themselves. Those in 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 uh, in, in the tobacco industry. Uh, you will see benefits from the TIMB resuscitation. Those in the dairy industry, all sectors, mining uh, sector, uh, uh, industrial sector, business sector, every every sector, you will see development. So we are saying, let us vote for change. Vote for Nelson Chamisa. Uh, 23. 23 August is our day.